Success is nothing more than a few simple disciplines practiced every day. Jim Rohn Imagine this. It's January 1st. A fresh start, a clean slate. You're motivated, committed to change. This year is going to be different, you tell yourself. You'll eat healthier, exercise regularly, maybe even finally start that project you've been putting off. But as the weeks roll by, life starts to look remarkably familiar. Those goals, they feel just as distant. So, why does this happen? Why do so many of us find ourselves back at square one year after year? In his best-selling book, Atomic Habits, James Clear offers a powerful answer. It's not because we're lazy or lack willpower. It's because we're focusing on the wrong things. You don't rise to the level of your goals. You fall to the level of your habits. Now picture this. You're on a plane, taking off from Los Angeles and headed to New York. But right before takeoff, the pilot adjusts the course by just three degrees. A change so small, you wouldn't even notice it. And yet, by the time the plane crosses the country, it would end up in Washington, D.C. instead of New York. A small shift, a massive impact. This is exactly what James Clear illustrates in Atomic Habits. Our habits work in the same way. If we improve just 1% each day, these tiny changes compound over time, leading to massive transformations. It's easy to overlook these small actions because they don't bring instant results. But imagine improving 1% every single day for a year. By the end, you're nearly 37 times better than where you started. This is the power of atomic habits, small changes that, with time, completely transform your trajectory. To understand how habits form, let's break down the habit loop. Every habit follows a simple structure. Cue, craving, response, and reward. A cue, like a notification on your phone, triggers a craving, a desire to see what's new. You respond by checking the message, and the reward is the satisfaction of feeling connected. But here's the thing, these loops become automatic, shaping your behavior without you even realizing it. They're why, before you know it, you've spent an hour scrolling social media or skipped your workout to watch your favorite show. James Clear emphasizes that to build good habits or break bad ones, we need to understand and reshape these loops. You can think of them as the building blocks of behavior, the invisible patterns guiding your day. Once we identify these patterns, we can start making choices about which habits we want to keep and which ones we want to change. Many of us focus on goals, the end results we want to achieve. But James Clear introduces a powerful shift in thinking. Focus on systems, not just goals. Goals are like the finish line, the results we desire, but systems are the processes that lead us there. And here's why it matters. Goals can be misleading. They don't differentiate winners from losers because everyone sets goals, but not everyone reaches them. Systems, however, are about continuous progress, regardless of where you're starting. As Clear puts it, goals are good for setting direction, but systems are best for making progress. Think about it this way. Instead of focusing on a goal of losing 10 pounds, focus on creating a system where you consistently eat healthier, exercise regularly, and get good sleep. The results will follow naturally. When you're focused on a system, you're giving yourself a framework that supports you every day, not just when you're feeling motivated. And on those tough days when motivation is low, a strong system helps you stay on track. One of the most profound concepts in atomic habits is the idea of identity-based habits. Imagine three layers of behavior change. The outer layer is outcomes, or what you achieve. The middle layer is process, or what you do. And at the core, there's identity, who you believe you are. Instead of focusing on what you want to achieve, think about who you want to become. Do you want to become a healthy person or just someone who wants to lose weight? When your identity aligns with your goals, habits become easier to form and maintain. Start by seeing yourself as the person you want to be. I'm a runner instead of I want to run a marathon. I'm a reader, not just I want to read more. The shift is subtle but powerful. You're not working toward a goal. You're embodying a new version of yourself. This focus on identity is what makes habits stick because it's not just about what you do. It's about who you are. When you believe you're a runner, running stops feeling like a chore and becomes part of your routine, a natural expression of who you are. Clear provides us with four powerful laws for building good habits and breaking bad ones. Think of these laws as the foundations that make or break our success. First law, make it obvious. The first step, Awareness. Track your current habits without judgment 
to see where your time and energy go. Then, make your desired habits obvious. Want to start working out? Place your workout clothes next to your bed every night. Simple adjustments like these create visual cues that keep your goals front and center. This step is about making the habit nearly unavoidable. When you surround yourself with reminders and visual cues, your brain starts associating the environment with a new habit. Don't underestimate the power of a prepared environment. Second law, make it attractive. Let's face it, motivation is easier when something is enjoyable. Our brains are wired to crave dopamine, the feel-good chemical. Make habits more appealing by pairing them with something you love, like listening to a favorite podcast while exercising. This technique, called temptation bundling, leverages our natural desire for pleasure, making it easier to stay on track. You can also surround yourself with people who value the habit you want to build. When you see others engaging in a positive behavior, it creates a desire to belong, reinforcing the habit. Third law, make it easy. One of the biggest barriers to habit formation is friction, anything that makes the habit harder to do. Reduce this friction by simplifying the habit. Start with a version so easy it takes just two minutes to complete. This two minute rule breaks down daunting tasks into manageable steps, paving the way for consistency. This technique works because it eliminates the pressure of starting big. Think about it, simply putting on your running shoes is already progress. Even if you don't end up running much, you're building the habit by taking that first step. Fourth law, make it satisfying. Lastly, reinforce your habit by making it satisfying. Immediate rewards, like marking a day on the calendar for each successful habit completion, keep you engaged and create a sense of achievement. Over time, this positive reinforcement solidifies the habit, making it something you look forward to. Clear stresses that seeing your progress visually, like tracking it on a calendar or in an app, is powerful. It creates a chain of small wins that builds momentum. And once you see that progress, you'll want to keep going. What about those pesky bad habits we want to leave behind? Clear's four laws can work in reverse to help us do just that. Want to quit snacking on junk food? Make it invisible by keeping it out of the house. Make it unattractive by reminding yourself of the negative impact on your health. Make it difficult by storing it in hard-to-reach places. And lastly, make it unsatisfying by reinforcing the long-term benefits of skipping the snack. By inverting the laws, you dismantle the triggers and rewards that fuel bad habits. This approach creates barriers that prevent you from automatically falling back into those bad habits. Over time, the temptation fades, and those habits lose their hold on you. Consistency is key, and tracking progress is an invaluable tool. Consider using a habit tracker. It could be as simple as a calendar or an app that lets you see streaks. Each tick on the calendar or check mark is a small victory, a reminder of your progress. These small wins fuel motivation and keep you on track, even on those challenging days. When you use a habit tracker, you're not just seeing progress, you're building a streak. And nobody wants to break a winning streak. It's a small but powerful motivator to keep going. To see atomic habits in action, let's look at some practical examples. Imagine you want to build a workout habit. Start with Clear's principles. Make it obvious by laying out your gear the night before. Make it attractive by pairing it with music or a favorite podcast. Make it easy by setting a two-minute goal initially and make it satisfying by tracking each workout session. Or maybe you want to read more. Create a cozy reading space, use habit stacking by reading after a routine task like making coffee, and reward yourself with a mental break afterward. These small, intentional actions gradually build the lifestyle you desire. When you break down your goals like this, the lifestyle changes become sustainable, achievable, and enjoyable. In the end, Atomic Habits isn't just a guide to achieving a goal. It's a blueprint for becoming a better version of yourself. By focusing on small, consistent actions, and aligning them with the identity you want to build, you can create lasting change. Remember, it's not about massive overnight transformations. It's about showing up day after day until the habits you build become the person you are. So if you're ready to take control of your habits, take that first small step today. Pick one habit, apply the principles we discussed, and see where it takes you. And if you're curious to dive deeper, consider reading Atomic Habits by James Clear for a full roadmap on creating the life you want one small change at a time. If you found value in this video, please like, share, 
then subscribe to our channel to support more content that helps you become the best version of yourself. And don't forget to share your new habit goals in the comments below. Let's build a community of positive change together.